Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a basic GunBot starting guide. So pretty much this is basic tutorial on all of the strategies, how to set some decent settings for it, and also how to find some pairs in the market, you know, how to run GunBot in the most profitable way. I will be making uh, this same type of video for other types of bots, and I will also be making a GunBot Beginner Edition versus Profit Trailer comparison video coming very soon. And finally, along with that, I have a very, very exciting announcement. My website is finally done. I will be leaving a link to it in the description. Uh, I have two domains for it. I have CryptoAdvisor.shop and GunBot.store. So obviously, I will be selling GunBot on there. Uh, but I also have Profit Trailer. Um, I have a area where you can pay for my private group. So if you guys are interested in that. And, uh, you know, hopefully in the future I will be able to add to the store. I want to make it pretty much a marketplace for all automated trading. So, you know, if you guys ever need something new or want to see what I'm using, stuff like that, then that is where it will check it out in the description. So first off here we have GunBot. So let's go ahead and check it out. So obviously under strategies, you have these three main strategies here on GunBot. Um, but really where most of the other strategies are, are right under it, right here. And uh, this is where it can get a little bit confusing. So I'm just basically going to go over all the strategies that they have now. So first here, they have Emotionless. Now, Emotionless is the strategy that comes with Beginner Edition. Although even though it comes with Beginner Edition, that does not mean it is a bad strategy whatsoever. Um, even if you have full GunBot, you should still give it a try because pretty much what it is, is it uses a bunch of different indicators that Gunther has programmed himself and made it into an automated bot that requires very minimal amount of settings to be changed. So I think Emotionless is definitely something you guys should try out. Strategy that gives more micro profit, so it's smaller trades. You know, it's not going to be giving you those trades that are 10% or 20% gains, but it will give you those small trades that are like 1% each and a high volume of them. So uh, that's a really cool strategy to play around with, Emotionless. Next we have BB, which is Bollinger Band. If you guys don't know what Bollinger Band, uh, those strategies are up here, and this is pretty much what it looks like. I'm not going to go over these too much, as they are like the classic strategies on GunBot, and you can read about them in the wiki, uh, which I will leave a link in the description for. So next we have TSSL. Um, now, what that is, is trailing stop loss. If you're buying or selling, it will create a zone right above and right below the price. And within a certain period, if it goes below or above that price, it will buy, us, buy or sell accordingly. So this can be really helpful if, for example, you want to say TSSL for sell, and then the coin goes up 20% in one move. Instead of selling at a certain percentage, it'll wait for the coin to go down 1% or 2% before selling. So this can be really good for trailing profit. Um, this is a strategy that Profit Trailer has, um, so that's really cool that they added it to GunBot. Next we have uh, Ichimoku Clouds, which is a strategy that you guys may have seen on TradingView, but this gives a really good idea of certain supports and resistances. Uh, the strategy is very useful for longer term trades on GunBot. So, you know, maybe a trade that takes one or two days on GunBot where you can make gains of 15% in one trade, that's pretty much what you want to use for that. Then you have PP, which is ping pong, which buys at one price and sells at another. So if you notice the coin is just rebounding between two prices and uh, you can make some good profit with that, then it will just go ahead and automatically trade that for you. Um, and uh, finally, after that is pretty much just a combination of all the other strategies. And how this works is the first one is the buying strategy. So for example, here you would use step gain as a buying strategy and then PP or ping pong as your selling strategy. So that's just what all these combinations of strategies are. So TSSL BB uses TSSL for buy and then Bollinger Band for sell. Other than that, uh, the main questions that I get asked personally, um, and these are just settings for Bollinger Band and uh, Step Gain. Those are usually the most popular strategies that I get asked to how to use them uh, pretty well. Now I'm just gonna give you guys some basic settings. You can obviously get a lot more complicated with these. 
Um, and one thing I definitely recommend against doing is purchasing settings from anyone. I can guarantee you there is no secret to what settings to use. Um, the most important part uh, when using GunBot are what pairs you're using. That will determine how much profit you get. So that's why I'm gonna tell you guys how to do that in a second. Uh, but never purchase a config. It is a definite waste of money. Uh, you can set yours up to be just as good as theirs um, as long as you're running the right pairs. So first off here we have trading limit. Now this is how much the bot will buy every trade. So if you have one Bitcoin and you want the bot to be able to buy 10 times, uh, before you know using all of your money you can just put 0.1 and then that will obviously use 0.1 every single time the bot buys or sells uh, with this strategy next we have funds reserved so this is just setting where if you have say you have two bitcoin and you want the bot to only trade one bitcoin out of your two bitcoin then what you can go ahead and do is set one and then that will keep one bitcoin or one of the primary currency that you're using as a reserve so for bitcoin obviously if i wanted to keep one bitcoin uh for myself and one for trading with the bot i could set that to one and that will keep one bitcoin or if i'm doing usd tether and i want to treat and i want to keep 100 usd tether for myself that the bot is not trading then i can go ahead and type in 100 and then that is what that will do now a lot of these other settings are a little bit more self-explanatory. Uh, for example, period, that's just the candle size. Um, and then finally, next we have here gain. This is something very important because I see a lot of people coming to me and saying, why did my bot not sell here? You know, this was a point that's very obvious where the bot should have sold. And I always say, check your gain. Maybe it did not hit your minimum gain. So this overrides the sell and saying, let me check to make sure that the trade is this minimum percentage profit before selling even if your other strategy is giving you a sell signal so for example if i had it like this it would have a minimum percent gain of 0 0.6 um which is pretty commonly used as on bitrex the fee for buying and selling is 0 0.25 each time so this would give you a minimum profit of 0.1 percent but you know, sometimes people set this to two or three percent, and that means that it will only sell if your trade is two or three percent profit. Now, that does not mean that it will sell the second it gets to two or three percent profit, but it will look to sell once it is above that threshold. Next, we have EMA1 and EMA2. You guys don't have to change that. Um, unless you're a little bit more advanced, um, I would not change that. Next, we have high Bollinger Band and low Bollinger Band. So low Bollinger Band is the buying Bollinger Band. This is the percentage target uh, on the lower, lower Bollinger Band that you want to buy at. And then the higher Bollinger Band is where you will sell at. So that's the top band. Um, and what I would do for this, if you're using Bollinger Band for buy, I like to be a lot more conservative on this to get safer buy signals. I tend to use something around 10 or 20 as my uh, low Bollinger Band and then higher Bollinger Band, that's just selling the coins. So if you're using Bollinger Band for selling, that is this top band here. I suggest using something around 40 because you know you want to buy at a safe spot and then sell as soon as you can to make profit. Um, but you can also make that smaller if you wanted to get something, you know, a little bit higher in terms of profits. So you could do something like this, 15 and 30. That would work for most markets. Um, obviously, the riskier the market gets, the lower I would put this. So if everything's crashing, I would put this at zero um, or even negative 10. You know, that would buy below the band. Um, but that can get some really good dips if the market's crashing and then you can make some profit. Um, but, and also if the market's crashing, I would set the high Bollinger Band uh, pretty high so you could sell as fast as possible after buying it. Um, so that's just, you know, some of the things that go th through the, my head as I'm setting these settings. You know, how is the market right now? How does this coin normally act? When does it look like there's a good buy in this coin? And then you could just set that accordingly for the future because most likely the coin is just going to keep on doing what it's been doing. Uh, so that's how you can set Bollinger Band uh, settings. Now, the next most commonly used strategy is step gain. And so I normally set my sell uh, step gain to 0 0.6, 1.6, around that. 
Um, you can set that to one, two, if you want to be a little bit quicker at selling. And then level three, that pretty much just sells instantly almost once it gets to that uh, percentage. I would set that to something like 10%. And then sell level one that the bot is trying to get to. So it's trying to get to 1.6% profit. But if it's in between sell level one and two, it can still sell. That is something very important you need to make sure you know. Now panic sell just sells all of the coins that you have. And then double up is to average down your bags. If you guys have profit trailer, that's also known as DCA, which is dollar cost averaging, uh, where it just buys on the way down in order to limit your losses and make it so whenever it goes up, you can make even more because you have more in that uh, coin. And then we have double up method. So this is what is setting the bot to buy again as it keeps going down. So this is the minimum percentage below the last price that you can buy at. And now you can enable RSI on pretty much all strategies. And RSI is something that really helps on downtrending markets. And I guess you could use a uh, sell on most of your strategies uh, as coins usually do correct after the top of the RSI. But I would mostly only use this on downtrending markets. Um, but it's definitely a very useful setting to have. And then OK's mode or OK's mode watches Bitcoin and waits for it to go up a certain percentage uh, before putting it, everything else on sell only mode. Now, I don't necessarily like this that much. I find it it just doesn't do that well. I would rather turn off the bot and just put on panic sell once the once Bitcoin pumps. But you can decide to turn that on yourself. And uh, those are the basic strategies and uh, how to use them there. Now, obviously, if you're setting these, I will tell you what situations you could use this in. Emotionless, I would use in a market that's sideways and very volatile. Uh, Bollinger Band, I would use in the same type of situation. But I'd say if the Bollinger Band signals look really good on trading view, then I would use that. TSSL uh, for sell, I would use for coins that you think will pump because then you can get them on the way up. Uh, Ichimoku, I would use for USD pairs maybe or coins that you want to keep long term or you think are going to make some big swings. Um, and then, you know, you have a bunch of these other settings that you can just mix and match. Um, but that's how I'd use those. Now next I'm going to show you guys how to find some profitable pairs for GunBot, which is in my opinion the most important part aside from the settings. So normally what I do is, so I have now recommended Binance as my main recommended exchange uh, because I find it has a lot of good pairs that Bittrex does not have now and the lower fees are making it look very nice along with very high volume that has been getting recently, sometimes even going above Bittrex in terms of total volume. So that is why I'm now recommending Binance. I will leave an affiliate link in the description. Um, but anyways, how I normally go about finding pairs is I first, above all, you want to look for high volume coins. I would look for coins that are above around 200 to 250 uh, volume and coins that are uptrending or sideways, those are probably the best coins to trade. Um, and you can also look for coins, even if they've gone down a little bit, for example, Strat Stratus here, uh, even though it did go down today, you, you could think, okay, well, I see some support here. It's not going below this price. I think it might be at the bottom. It might be volatile and it might go back up. This could be a great pair to trade right here. You know, that's how I sort of go about it. I look for coins that are either at the bottom and I think are going to be volatile on the way going up or maybe they're going to pump uh, back up. Or you can look for coins that are just sideways and uh, super volatile. Now here I wouldn't really do this because I think this is pretty high risk as it was just going down and now it recovered a little bit and uh, I think it could dump again. So generally I don't like to go for coins that have already uh, gone up in value a lot. Um, but if there's a coin that I really believe in, for example, the Binance coin, which has gone up so much recently, thanks to the exchange growth, this, as you can see, would be very, very good to trade because um, Gunbot would have sold usually at the top here and uh, a lot of points that are really good entries here that uh, Gunbot could have bought or sold at. So, you know, I think Binance, this is a perfect example of a coin that I would trade. So just to go over that, 
you want to look for coins that are either at the bottom or going sideways that are very volatile. Maybe a coin that's getting news so you think it's going to pump. And then I would make sure that it's decently high volume. I recommend above 250 Bitcoin uh, as the 24 hour volume. And that is how I go about using GunBot and how I set strategies. So anyways guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys check out my website. I put a lot of work into that. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs>